Hey, in this video, we'll be talking camp security with wireless cameras, as well as other protectionary items. Let's get into it. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am Robert with Sherburn Outdoors, and today we are talking camp security. So I, I'm, it is a beautiful day here in the Cahutta Wilderness. It's March 16th. It is uh, it's like 60 degrees today. So I think spring is on its way. Probably we'll have another uh, cold spat before that. But as you can see here, I am in the middle of absolutely nowhere. Uh, you know, I always get a little concerned. I do a lot of camp. If you watch a lot of videos of mine over the past several years, I'm out and about by myself quite a bit. I do get concerned, you know. I, I don't really get concerned at the animals. I kind of get concerned at the people. I've had a few interesting run-ins over the last couple years. So I've been, uh, been really putting a lot of effort into camp security, making sure, you know, that I put, position my vehicle in a good way so that I can see things mostly out of my tent. You can see here behind me, I've got my rooftop tent. When you're inside of that thing, you know, you're kind of in a box and you can't see everything around. You can kind of look out the windows and try and see, but if someone's coming to your camp, you know, you may want to, be, I'd like to be able to look around outside. So I do take a couple precautions. Uh, just like a lot of people, I do bring some things out here to uh, help myself with some safety at the worst case. But you know what? I would like to be able to see what's going on around my campsite from inside the tent when I'm laying there. So that if there is an instance where I need to be worried about something, I'll have a visual. Or if it's just an animal walking by, I'll have a visual on that as well. Because, you know, they do come by, raccoons and other stuff. I've even seen a bear walk by. That was a little terrifying a couple years ago. But a couple uh, months ago, maybe about a month ago, I did a video from Autovox with their wireless camera system. And I, it was it's really meant for a backup cam, but I put it on the front bumper of my Jeep Gladiator. We went through all kinds of mud and it was just a mess and the thing worked flawlessly. Now it is wireless, it is waterproof or water, it's kind of water resistant. In that video, I made some mention that I was going to try this out as a security cam when I went camping. Well, we're here. So we're going to hook this up. We're going to see what it looks like. And it, just to do a, a refresher, this is the camera itself with the transmitter uh, antenna on it. And I'm just going to put that across the way from camp. And then we've actually got our display here. And you can see here's, here's the GoPro it's looking at. And here's the display uh, that it's showing on the GoPro itself. And then if we flip it to me, you can kind of see what's going on. And so we're going to put that on our camp site so that I can get a good view of, of the kind of the front of mine, the blind areas that I just can't see out the windows. And also this is infrared at night, so it will give you night vision. We'll test that out a little bit later when it gets dark as well. Now, I did bring uh, the, the Pecron 288 watt hour battery, this little guy. Have a huge Blue Eddy inside the, uh, the Jeep that does everything for me, but I take this one up in the tent and it'll give me the 12 volt power that I need for this particular display up there now this will go 15 hours continuous we're not going to be going continuous we're just going to fire it on from the display when we need to that'll give us a give me a little bit more i, I would just feel better actually uh, at what's out at the campsites so and give me a little bit more protection if this works really well you can actually hook up two of these cameras to one display and go between them and pair it up i'll probably get another one of these because i think this is going to work really well well let's hook it up Let's do a quick test in the daytime and then we'll do another one in the nighttime. All right, so I'm in my rooftop tent and I've got all the cameras set up. Let's look at our very first test when we're doing this as in daylight, see what it looks like outside. Okay, we got our Pecron 288 watt hour unit up in here, powering up for us. And then we've got our display here. And I am, I can't see this, that particular area, but you can see, you know, right here is, is the front of my tent. Where I can't always see this area out here what's going on and so this gives me great visibility I got this sitting on a stump out in the woods this is going to work really well what I'd like to do is get the second camera let's see how the night vision goes when that gets here at night all right we are in the rooftop tent it's about 10 p.m. let's just turn our unit on here for our security and take a peek outside so it's syncing up and boom we have night vision. You can see the bugs flying by. I can see everything. And I, I've got a view from inside my tent now. <laughs> this is spectacular. So, and just have it sit down there. And then we can also turn it off at any point we want to just by flipping this down. Well, that was amazing. 
This, this AutoVox wireless camera is just wow. So again, this is $169.99 with a $50 coupon off of that. So basically $109 on Amazon. There's some links below. I am very impressed. I'm actually going to get a second one of these so that I can put them around the campsite and I can get more visibility so that I don't have to use any other measures if, if it gets down to that. I can kind of see what's going on around. It gives me a little bit more peace of mind versus just come flying out of the tent to see what's going on and not know what's going on around me. So fairly I feel a lot better with that. Hey, if you got a lot of value out of this video, please click that like button. Don't forget to hit subscribe and click that bell to be notified we got new content out. Again, I am Robert Sherburn with Sherburn Outdoors. This is the Cahutta Wilderness, and thank you for your time and thank you for watching. Everybody have a great weekend.